Welcome back to Nana's Closet. I'm coming to you with my Target shopping trip I did on Wednesday the 12th. I only picked up four items and the majority was a, was a bada. Um, I had a fetch offer and a shop kick offer on this trip. First item I picked up was the Zephyr Hills Water. They were on sale for $3.49. Shop Kicks had an offer to get 400 kicks back, what equals out to $1.60. So my water cost me $1.89 for 8 ounce 12 pack. So 16 a piece for the water. 16 cents each per bottle for the water which I thought was really good. Then I picked up the Sir Kensington special sauce that was on sale for $5.11. There was a circle offer for 20% off which brought it down to $1.27. Abada was giving you back $3 and Fetch was giving you back $1,800 points which is equivalent to a dollar eighty so this one I didn't write down the total but I think this one is nearly free almost free then I picked up the Splenda the Splenda is the 200 count not the 100 but the 200 count so I thought this was a very Good deal. The Splenda at Target was five ninety nine. There was a digital coupon for two dollars off, and that was for the Circle offer. And Abada was giving you back four dollars, so that made the Splenda absolutely free. Then, of course, I picked up the Airwick two count, and that was three ninety nine. And there was a coupon for four dollars back. So that was absolutely free. So after all my coupons, I paid out of pocket sixteen dollars and thirty-five cents plus my tax. Then with my cash back from Abada, I got seven dollars. <throat> from Swag Bucks, I got two cents. Fetch a dollar eighty-five, shop kicks a dollar sixty. So total of my cash back was ten dollars and forty-seven cents. Once I take the sixteen thirty-three from the ten forty-seven, it leaves me with a total cost of five dollars and eighty-six cents. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Because the Sir Kennington special sauce was five dollars and eleven cent, and then the Splenda was five ninety nine. So it's like paying for the Splenda and getting everything else for free, which is fine with me. That's all I have for you. But I will be showing some of the food items that I picked up at Target that were on clearance. So stay tuned for that. Until then, bye. Here is my Target clearance haul. When I was shopping at Target, I went down the food aisle just to see what they had. And I spotted a few things that I wanted to get. The first thing, they had a lot of food um, things that were on clearance. But the one that really caught my eye was the Uncle Ben's Original Rice. The Long Grain White Rice. This is a two pound box of white rice from Uncle Ben's. Walmart sells this for $4.14 a box. 
My Publix does not carry this, and my Dollar General does not carry this. But I did find it at um, Target, and this is my preferred brand of rice. If I'm going to cook rice, I'm going to cook Uncle Ben's. This was on clearance for $2.39. These do not expire until 2024, so I have a, almost a whole year just about to use it. I couldn't believe it. First I picked up one box and then I kept saying, I need to go back and get another box. You know, because you can store rice for a long term. So I picked up two boxes. That was my first clearance. Like I said, they had a lot of clearance, but a lot of the items, the sauces, the ketchups, the mustards, and stuff like that, I didn't need. And so I didn't even pick those up. But the rice, I did. Then I went down to the Easter clearance. And I noticed that they had these um, Pillsbury Moist Supreme lemon cakes <clears throat> mixes. There's, there was no prices um, in the Easter clearance. It just said 30% off, 50% off, that's it. So there was no prices, so you had to take it and scan it. And it was not coming up in the Target scanner in your app. It wasn't coming up. Or it was showing regular price. So I had to actually take it over to one of the red box scanners in the store and scan it. These were a dollar four a piece. So I thought that was an excellent deal for the lemon cake mixes. <clears throat> then I picked up a bag of the Reese's Cups and a bag of the Kisses Chocolates. Those were only 30%. I know I could have went to Walmart and I hopefully got them at 50%, but I didn't want to take a chance with Walmart. So I picked up the Hershey's <clears throat> Kisses were $2.65 and the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups were $2.65. Now my total came out to $12.16 plus tax. But I had some gift cards that I forgot I had on I think it was shot kicks that I had. So I used my gift cards that I had on shop kick. So I actually paid out once I used all my gift cards that I had for Target <clears throat> on shop kicks, I ended up paying forty eight cents. For I, I mean Forty-eight cent, a dollar forty-eight. I'm sorry, a dollar forty-eight for all of these, which I thought was an excellent deal because of the Uncle Ben's. I know we can get cake mixes cheaper than a dollar four, but they don't always have lemon, so that's why I went ahead and picked those up. And also on the clearance. I found these hang tags. I normally don't take take any hang tags, peelies. I only take the ones that's out of the little machine. But these were a dollar off any Hellman's mayonnaise. So I picked up two of those and they were on the Hellman's, but the Hellman's wasn't on sale. So I will use those coupons and a further transaction when they have a sale. So, I thought a dollar forty-eight was good for all these items. Well, that was my clearance buying. If you go to Target, remember to walk down the food aisle. My Target had a lot, a lot of clearance on the different food aisles. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share. 
Until next time, talk to you later. Bye.